The rules of the road are going digital. Traffic regulation orders are the legal rules that shape how we use roads. Things like speed limits, parking restrictions and one-way systems, essential for safety and flow. They've traditionally been paper-based and sitting in folders on shelves in highway authority offices, but they're now being digitised to become detros. We want to revolutionise traffic orders and bring it into the modern world, have open data available to data consumers to be able to share that information with citizens. The Detro service brings all those rules together in one place, digitally, consistently and openly. It's about making road regulation work for the digital age and things like automated, also known as autonomous vehicles. If you think about what's coming down the line in the cars, we've got autonomous vehicles, we've got connected vehicles, Detro will be another source of information into that car, information about speed limits, road closures, possible parking opportunities in the future. The new Detro service is built on a centralised database with what's called an API-first approach. That means local authorities can publish directly through their existing software and developers can plug into the data in real time to deal with fast-changing transport requirements. So whether it's for real-time routing or for the benefit of autonomous vehicles, we need an infrastructure system that can keep up with progress. So we use a digital first approach because it gives us the flexibility and reliability to support that. The team building the Detro solution have worked with a number of local authorities to test the concept and are now ready to move on to public beta testing across the country. So public beta now is very much about opening the service up to everyone. All councils across England can join, meaning wider coverage and a much richer data set for data consumers. We're seeing everything from better sat-nav routing, smarter roadworks planning, to improving dispatching of emergency services. The system isn't a top-down approach where authorities and data users get what they're given. It's been consistently improved by engaging with stakeholders and getting their feedback. User research has been central from day one. We've worked with a wide range of user groups from local authorities and blue light services to well-known mapping and navigation companies to really understand their specific needs, pain points and potential use cases. And that insight has directly shaped how the service works and will continue to do so. The aim is to make digital road regulation the norm, not the exception. That means every local authority publishing digitally, every data consumer accessing it in real time, and every road user benefiting from clearer, more consistent rules. The long-term vision for the future of the service is that we'll have a complete picture of the, the road network for England from the traffic orders. Initially, we'll only have new orders, but soon we'll start to bring in old orders and eventually have that full picture of England's road network. And there's also the potential for other nations to join as well and make it a service for the whole of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. The DTRO project isn't just a case of digitising old documents. It's creating infrastructure for a smarter, safer, more responsive transport system.